What the hell? <laughs> oh, good, stop! Wait, what the, f the hell are you doing? The big question is, how did B-Rad get into moto vlogging? And I'll say it straight up right out the beginning. It was a mistake. <laughs> not a mistake in a negative way, definitely not a negative way, but it was completely unintentional. Uh, so around the first, the time I got my first WR, uh, I didn't even have it super motoed yet. I went on some group rides with these guys, they called themselves the uh, the murder mitten moto vloggers and I was like oh sweet like I'm in this I'm in this biker gang nah I wasn't but they're all super cool guys still ride with them now uh, I, I could say th right off the bat those are the guys to uh, to thank for getting me into this they pretty much all recorded with their GoPros and their mic setups I had my GoPro at that time but pretty much all I did with it was uh, I'd record all the time, I'd keep clicking start and stop, making all these short clips because all I'd do is like upload them to Instagram, you know, if I did a, a four second wheelie or something, because that's about all I could do at that time. Um, so I used to do, I've had a YouTube channel for probably, probably uh, about, about some, sometime in middle school, so I would always upload videos, they're, they're all private or unlisted whatever now just because I don't know they're a little <laughs> they're a little awkward <laughs> but uh you know just stupid videos like going fishing with my friends in the neighborhood pond and you know freaking riding bikes around town doing nothing really interesting um but uh yeah so I, you know I was in a video for quite a long time pretty much all throughout high school maybe besides my senior year and then I kind of just stopped. I got into photography. I started a photography business and I was just like, ah, uh, video just takes up so much damn space on my computer and so much time and I get nothing out of it. Like I was getting paid to take photos. Why would I be wasting my time making these videos that, you know, were just seemingly so goofy and ridiculous. So I gave up that for probably senior year of high school and then maybe a good year or two after high school into college and uh and then you know people kept bugging me they're like you know dude you're, you're getting reasonably good at riding uh and you're you're a fun guy like you should you should make some videos and i was like eh, i don't know like i'm really just not about it anymore and I was, I was still into photography that's what i was going to school for so uh i don't know like you know i think i maybe made two videos in the winter it was like 30 degrees out and they were okay you know, there was some funny stuff. I didn't have a mic set up. You couldn't hear me. It was just wind noise. But, um... But, uh, yeah. So, I started started making uh, a few videos. And then, it just somehow... On, it, was, it was only, like, my fourth video I made. Which was the, uh... The first Supermoto shenanigans video. Which I'm sure brought... Probably a great percentage of you to this channel. Uh, it's it's like up over two million views now, and uh, that was what started it all. I, I had maybe 50 subscribers, mainly friends. You know, some were probably from this video I had posted of me playing piano uh, that got like 30,000 views or something like that. So all of a sudden, like I'm at work working in my parents' machine shop and my phone just goes ding, 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 ding. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? I look at it and my emails are just pouring in. Well, I had on uh, subscriber notifications. So every time I got a subscriber, I'd get an email. And I kid you not, it was, it was an on off switch. It, it went from nothing to ding, 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 ding. Just like all in an instant while I'm sitting there. And I was like, what the hell? Like, is this some sort of spam thing? And I was like kind of freaking out, but then I like, I clicked on one and I was like, oh, so-and-so subscribed to your YouTube channel. I go to my YouTube channel and it's at like 
500 subscribers from nothing in like basically in an instant so you know throughout the day you know it was kind of the same pace I don't know how many I had like by the end of the day but it was a substantial amount I mean it, they were pouring in and then throughout like the next couple weeks they, like it just kept happening I ended up turning off the uh, the subscriber notifications because like <laughs> by the end of that two weeks it would have been about 20,000 emails I think so I went from no subscribers to about 20,000 literally in an instant it was crazy so I was like oh well that's like that's weird so like that's kind of cool I got a bunch of people who liked one of my videos in the that supermoto shenanigans video was getting a uh, you know a pretty good amount of views you know at least a couple thousand a day or something prop well more I suppose you know for a while per day but uh I was like oh like you know that's that's weird like I never thought someone would like this video of me riding around and I was aware of moto vlogging I didn't really follow it at the time I've watched I watched like some of Jake's videos mainly because his WR 450F you know he did like bike walk arounds but I never really watched anything else I didn't know what it was besides my friends that did it but I didn't realize it was like you know something people were doing to to make a living off of and stuff I thought it was just kind of like a hobby and, and you know no doubt I thought it was cool like I thought it was awesome my friends were doing it but I just didn't realize really like what what it could be and I uh I was aware you can make money off of YouTube you know I t followed numerous prank channels stuff like that typical jerk off BS jerk off maybe that sounds weird anyway uh, forget I said that but uh you know just these random channels of people with million subscribers and shit like that but uh so like I knew you could make money and I was like dang like this video is up over a hundred thousand views like within a week or two so I was like man I gotta get this thing set up for monetization like thinking oh I'll just make a quick buck off of it since this is the only video that I'll ever uh ever get any views so I like you know I got it set up right away and I don't know maybe it was at like 200,000 views or something so uh so I missed out on a little bit there which it's, it's not like it's a big deal I mean that's not it's not that much money at all in the long run but uh yeah so I got it set up and it was like you know within a month after getting it set up like I got my first paycheck and it was a pretty substantial amount uh and I was like, holy crap, like this is the coolest thing ever. So I, I made this one video and essentially like got a paycheck for what I'd get, you know, working a week, eight hour days in my in my parents' shop. And I was like, well holy crap, like I gotta I gotta make some more videos. Like I'm not really into this video thing, but I guess it's something I gotta do at this point. So I started making more videos just I, I kept gaining subscribers it uh it definitely slowed down like after it hit 20,000 for quite a while uh like probably uh, it, it was a long time it's probably another year until I hit like 50k or you know 70k which you know I talk about like a, a small number which I mean it's still substantial that's you know just less than half of what I have now but uh but I know like that's a huge deal you know a lot of people won't ever make it unfortunately up to that even if they put in the same amount of work as me or even more work um that's just how youtube works so yeah i started making making more videos and you know i'd maybe get a god excuse me i had to burp <laughs> uh a couple thousand views per video uh you know by the next paycheck or whatever it wasn't quite what i made that first time because i didn't have that that viral video supporting all those views or whatever but uh I was like all right you know I'll roll with this it's it's easy enough to do and it's fun like no doubt I I enjoyed it don't ever think like I did it just because I wanted money like I did enjoy it at that point I started making videos it was fun my friends loved watching them you know I I was recording the stuff my friends and I did uh you know just for fun and I'd make a few dollars on the side you know after after I came home from working at the shop so it was cool, it was whatever. Uh, and then, you know, it started to get, the channel started getting bigger. So I just kind of kept rolling with it, kept growing. 
Uh, I, man, when did I, I hit 100K subscribers right after I went to Texas. So I think it was January, June. It was probably around June of 2016 that I, uh, I hit 100K. And kinda right around that point, I was like, you know, I'd really like to kind of make this a full-time job. Like I love doing it. It allows me to ride. It allows me to travel, meet all these people. Um, so I started like really pushing. I started making the products. Uh, I threw up some shirts for sale. You know, got the key tags, the stickers, oh, all the the typical sellout moto vlogger stuff. You know, screw you if you're trying to make a living doing something you love, right? Which will be another video topic that I know has been talked about a lot. But uh, but yeah. Anyway, if you think like that, I I don't even know what to say to you because. You're either jealous or just really don't understand uh, what it takes to make a living or, you know, do something you enjoy. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so, you know, I got really pretty serious. I started maybe working like one day less at the uh, at my parents' shop. Um, and then, let's see. And then right at the beginning of the summer is when I ended up breaking my foot. And I was like, oh, shit, you know, I've been working all this hard hard bit and now it's all gonna be gone I'm gonna you know I didn't think I was gonna lose subscribers but I'm like man I've been posting videos every other day for the past like two months and things have been going great I've been getting great feedback on videos and then all of a sudden you know just nothing I broke my foot I can't ride anymore I can't post videos anymore I'm like shit what am I gonna do well luckily I was able to pull it off uh, I pushed some of the product sales you guys are awesome. I already talked about this in my like my first ride video after the crash. I don't need to go over it all again. Uh, you, you guys know what's up. You know I appreciate it so much. Um, so it was really that was the turning point for me saying like saying I'm gonna be able to go full time. Even by the time I was kind of limping around on my foot and riding again, I still couldn't really work at the shop because there you, you stand for eight hours at a machine and I had a broken wrist, which I still do, right now as I'm speaking. Um, so I couldn't, I couldn't use my right hand very well. I couldn't stand for long periods of time. So basically, I could still ride a bike and I could still edit videos, even if it hurt my wrist. So I just, I rolled with it. I kept doing that, and really, that brings me up to here today, where right now I'm technically working. <laughs> kind of cool, huh? Um, but yeah, so that's that's really how it happened. It was kind of by mistake, but I'm sure as hell glad it happened because I'm absolutely loving loving it. I've never been more happy in my life. Uh, so it's you know it's inc it's incredible. That's all I gotta say. It's cold and my camera's about to die, so I'll see you guys later. But maybe I should do a little wheelie first since was that a cop behind me? Nah. I don't want to do too many wheelies around here because lots of cuffs, but okay, that's enough. Shut up, Brad. No one cares.